talk about the impressive revenue growth of ANSYS, at least it looks impressive on the face of it, uh, looking at the, the big numbers on top, is Teddy Darker, he's CEO of ANSYS. Teddy, I always like talking to you because railways is my great interest and you're in that field, perhaps not as much in proportion as you used to be. But you had a trading update on the 18th of March yes. and we said, let's get yeah. Teddy in. Revenue was 66 bil uh, million the last time, up to 230 million, so that gets the attention. So let's find out where that money came from. First of all, a big chunk of it, about probably 45% of that is from the rail business. And the other 40, 45% is from the new telecoms business that we brought into. Well, while you're doing that, let's just have a look at uh, the division of your business. It's right. now uh, in your organogram, it says that there are four uh, divisions of, of the business. But you're talking about the rail. Uh, you said for 40, how much? About 45%? 40 to 45% of our business is now rail. Mm. The other 40% to 45 is from the telecoms uh, sector. There it is. And then uh, we also do have about the balance of it is now defense and a bit of some mining still uh, bubbling under. Okay. So R rail in red there, telecommunications on the right, mining and defence. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk rail first and why that jump in the rail part of it. Uh, what happened is that, first of all, we tried to increase our base in the railways. Traditionally, we did a lot of trackside measurement systems, systems we put on the side of the railway line, but we've also moved into onboard systems, which are systems that go into the locomotives and assist uh, to drive the locomotive or to monitor the health of the locomotive or mm. to assist the driver drive the locomotive or communicate with the control center. So Fantastic that has assisted stuff. us to grow our railways business beyond what we've traditionally done. They can tell where a locomotive is at any time and the name of the driver. Yes, it's we can. It's a specific at that cross the country. And the flight number. Not only that, we can also say in a 400 wagon uh, train, we can tell which wagon is where on the train and its load, its weight, uh, whether the wheel bearings are okay, whether the wheel alignment is fine, as it's traveling at 90 k's an hour. Did he say flight number? Yeah. <laughs> as good as a flight Trains number. Trains are flying. Train, train has a number as well, like a flight number, like a route number. You were going to ask about the defence yes, side Yes, I things. wanted to find out. So we've got uh, railways, that is more than 40%. Then we've got telecommunications, that's... Around about 40, 45% uh, as well. Uh, yeah. 40, 45 telecommunications. We'll get to telecommunications, but I want to ask about your defence yes. uh, section. Government isn't spending any more money in this particular area. So is this likely to impact your earnings or the performance of that section? Actually, what we're saying is the opposite of what will happen. If you look at the defense review, uh, one thing it says clearly is that we need to arrest the decline within the, uh, our defense uh, establishment. We don't have a choice now but to look at how we can improve our defense because this is an issue about sovereignty and to support also our initiatives, our peace initiatives on the African continent. So government's plan is to move from 1.6% of GDP to about 2.7% of GDP. That's about 88 billion. Now, even if that does not happen, if you look at our main customer in the defense sector today, which is Denel, it is sitting on about 31 billion rands of their order book. If there's any risk to denial, it's about execution risk, and they look at companies such as ours to assist them in deliver that. Mm -hmm. The transaction that we announced uh, last year in December, the Parsec that's transaction. That's Parsec. We that's to Parsec, ask about that. yeah. Th that, that business is just going to catapult us much further out in the defense sector because there's international exports that they're doing in defense, which is now part of the stable. Mm -hmm. I just want to come back to that defense review. Yes, the defense review says that, but government has to come to the party with more money, and there Indeed. was nothing in the budget about more yeah. money. It, the current budget did not suggest that you know they're moving that direction, but we're looking forward to the medium term uh, budget mm -hmm. to see whether that is going to come into being, and we hope for that is going to happen. But as I emphasized, even if that does not happen through a passive transaction, we're looking at exports and we're also looking at assisting Denel in blowing the 51 billion, 41 billion, sorry, mm -hmm. 31 billion uh, uh, infrastructure budget that they have. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. talk about Parsec. Yeah. How are we doing there? It's a very nice transaction that we have done. Uh, we need to conclude uh, some time on this first week of May, but it's as good as done if the JSC gives us the authority to do so. But Parsec is very strong in the uh, defense as well as in the mining d uh, domain, and they've got also telecoms, but the, about 70%, 75% of the business is mining and defense, which are the two areas that we as ANSYS are not that strong. So this just gives us that good diversity in terms of our markets, but also they're very, they've got more engineers than what we have, so our engineering capability is going to grow, and they have a state-of-the-art production facility in terms of the type of stuff that we're doing. So we're going to improve on our capability to deliver. We're also going to improve on our market access and also diversify our revenues from 
just uh, what we've traditionally done to different market, but also from away from the, the Sadiq region, also into the international markets. Well, there's the story behind that revenue increase, and it mm. sounds like more revenue increase uh, after that. Now, you're at the stage now where you don't talk about a train when you mean a locomotive. Locomotive. Right? Lots of people talk about right. new trains for transit. Yes. They mean locomotives. A train <laughs> is something a locomotive pulls. Yes, okay. Locomotives. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so yeah. much. And for Prasa, they talk about train sets or cars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the railway slot for this morning. I think we should have one every day. Yeah, oh, my Thank goodness. You.